Hello everyone, welcome to this new video. So in this today's video, we'll be solving the problem. Check if a string is reputation of its substring of k length. Okay, so this is a medium level question. This is a problem of the day on Geeks for Geeks today. The topic tags of this question are strings, maps, and data structures. So let us go to the question now. Uh, given a string s, check if it's possible to convert it into a string that is repetition of a substring of length k. Okay, so to convert it, we will select two substrings. Okay, only two substrings of length k starting at index i and j, such so that i and j are both divisible by k, and we'll replace one substring with the other subtract fine so this is the only question that uh, this is the only thing that has been given so if we go through the lines carefully it has been mentioned that if you would like to change this particular substring, okay, if you would like to do some modification, pick only two strings, fine. It's only that you need to pick only two strings of length k each or maybe more than k, but they must be exactly divisible by k, all right. So if you just pick those and you can convert one string, one substring to the other substring so that the whole, whole string will be changed or will be equivalent to repetition of a substring of length k, okay. Now we'll see some examples to get some better idea. The expected time complexity is O of n and space complexity is O of n and we'll be seeing the solution on the similar lines okay so now let us go to the solution so uh, like the examples that have been given in the question are really not making any sense so that's the reason i have not taken that so but thing is if we if you would like to try to understand the question okay so let us take a string like this s equal to a b c a b c a b c okay and d e f and then a b c fine so now if you would like to see this carefully this is a repetition okay this could be a repetition this could be a repetition repetition of substring of substring a b c okay this could be a repetition of substring a b c provided you can change this d e f into a b c isn't it so this is the question let us assume this is the question that i'm giving you i'm giving you k to be equal to 3 so what do you mean by when i give you k equal to 3 you must make sure you can change the given string into a repetition of substrings of length k that is length 3 now if you carefully see a b c a b c a b c a b c all these are like substrings of length 3 and they are the same but there is one fellow who is different from all these that is d e f so now you can try to convert d e f into a b c isn't it so how can you do it pick this index and pick some other index so what is the length that you can if you will be uh, willing to take you'll be take willing to take k equal to 3 only because that is the string length that you found that that is being repeated isn't it so k equal to 3 substring is being repeated for four four times so that means you can construct this particular d e f into abc provided that both lengths are also three right so you'll be checking now you found that particular stranger that particular different person so only thing that is left to you is you must be able to change this particular def into abc so let us assume this def is not def it is like defg can you be able to convert def into abc no because defg length is four but the length that has been given to you is three right but what if it is d f g h i can you convert into abc yes i can convert because there are two equivalent parts of uh, three this three and this three so i'll be converting this three into abc and then this three into abc so it will be again a repetition of abc this is a proper repetition of abc right so that is the reason what we'll be checking is if there is a stranger okay you need to make sure there's only one stranger so first point is only one stranger okay only one stranger it's not like you'll be having two three strangers no only one stranger must be there fine only one stranger because that is what has been given pick two substring it has been given okay pick two subs uh, substrings starting at index i and j so let us assume this def is also there here def i'll not be able to change because there are two occurrence of def i can i can only change i can only pick i have only two fingers okay remember i have only two fingers one finger to lift that particular stranger okay one finger is to lift that particular person to which i would like to change i would like i, I can only pick def and abc i cannot pick two defs that is not allowed in the question okay that's clearly given so you can only pick one fellow to change into another fellow so if you have one finger one finger you'll be using to pick stranger one finger you'll be using to pick the similar person okay so you can change the stranger into similar person that's it that's the only operation you can do you cannot uh, you know take two different uh, strangers and convert them into similar things that's not possible okay so very very important but in this case dfghi if the whole you know at one place only you have a substring like of length uh, that is divisible by k okay divisible by k and you can change all of them into that particular abc or whatever k uh, in this k similar thing it is there you can definitely change because parts parts you can change it right so that's the reason it at only one occurrence the whole thing is that's completely fine that but you need to make sure it's exactly divisible by k right i hope you people have understood so that is the reason i've written here you can only written true if there is only one stranger or one substring of length k that is different and other substrings of length k are exactly the same okay so that means this this count must be equal to one their count must be n by k minus one so 
why did they stress in this question that uh, like in the second example if you see say, uh, n equal to 5 and k equal to 2 a b c d e since n not divisible by k because n uh, modulo k is not equal to 0 so it's not possible to convert s into string which is a concatenation of length of uh, substring of length length k why did they give this they didn't uh, so if you're actually trying to change a length k okay so if you're actually trying to change let us assume i'm trying to change this def into a b c right if, if if this def is not at all divisible by k okay let us assume it's not divisible it's something like defg how can i convert defg into a b c i cannot take a character right i cannot remove a character i cannot just remove g i cannot do that so and also they want the whole string to be a repetition of repetition of of substring substring of length k of length k so how do you get a sub, uh, string that is a repetition of substring of length k it may be three times or four times or five times it can be anything that particular substring can be you know repeated for three times four times five times and the whole string can be made if it is not divisible by k how can you make it a substring of uh, you know that uh, repetitions k times that is that possible uh, is that is that even making sense no so if you have some quantity like this you would like to multiply it you like to multiply it multiply it so that this whole string you want you would like to consider but how can you consider a string like this this one this one this one and this is this the valid string no there is only three repetitions there is another part that is not a repetition so you cannot consider so, such type of strings so it's important to make sure that the whole length that has been given is particularly divisible by k okay that is the first thing if it's not written false so that is the first uh, condition okay so uh, must be divisible by k n ampersand k sorry modulo k should be equal to zero that's for sure and what is the second thing that you can do now because we are discussing about the count isn't it so we must make sure the other substrings of length k are of uh, this particular count and this particular uh, one substring of length k of uh, sorry uh, length k that is different okay like, similar to this example like abc 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 df abc df must only be occurring for once okay uh, so this must be only once so how do you do it the best way approach is to make sure you use a map instead of using map if you would like to do some iterations and consider substrings you cannot be able to consider the length so in that case you'll be ending up with such cases like this so this this particular case if i just erase all these things uh a b c a b c d e f so there are uh, so i'll just erase this and write once again so let us assume this is the thing d e f a b c a b c uh, a b c a b c d e f so if you would like to consider only a you know uh a substring so substring of length k length k length k and if you go on you will not be able to check the count of the strangers isn't it so d e f are the strangers here but if you go on taking the substrings of length k and then validate without taking an extra space you will not be able to come to a conclusion how many times did this fellow d e f come if this d e f fellow is coming from greater than once then the solution is not valid means you cannot even try to convert the string s into repetitions of length k okay that's not possible so that's the reason you need to make sure this particular stranger is only appearing for once so for better you know uh, ease, uh, feasibility and all you can use a map or another map to store that particular stranger's count and that count must be equal to one and uh, same so our brothers okay brothers twin brothers all their count must be equal to n by k minus one so this is the thing that you can check that's it but how will you consider our strings now for that you can use a window okay so small window so let us assume this there is a whole string like this okay so there is a whole string like this and so what is the thing first you'll take a length k so this is a length k okay length k you'll be taking this string now again you'll be putting the se uh, second window from here again length k this string you'll be taking and again this uh, length k this string you'll be taking so you'll be storing all this in map so for the solution to be a valid I mean for the you for framing a particular uh, like for written true what is the thing that you need to check either two of these substrings like either this or this or uh, this or this or this or this or all of this can be same okay if all of these are same then nothing to worry it's already repetition of k but if there are cases like only two of them will be similar then the other third person can be changed into these two okay so you must make sure the strangers count is only one and the same or brothers count is n by k minus one that's the only thing so you can use a sliding window to consider all the uh, substrings of length k right so i hope you people have understood this particular thing that's the reason we are using a map i've make sure i've kept all the things in you know very clearly there are any doubts please feel free to comment in the comment section now let us go through the code now so what did i say first condition is check if it's divisible by k so if it is not written uh, zero i mean uh, written false okay so if n no, not equal to zero not equal to zero written false okay so this is the base condition first so if it's not equal to zero just written false now take some unordered map unordered map and uh, string and in the mp okay and uh, now take of you know, like uh, this particular go through whole you know uh, substring uh, sorry string of length k, uh, length 10 and take each and every window of length k and put that into your map so mp of str dot a sub str so from starting from i 
till k okay and you do plus plus so this takes every substring of length k starting from i okay and also after this you directly jump to the other index what is that uh, end uh, the next point so once you have taken this particular uh, uh, window once you have taken this uh, particular uh, you know thing once you have taken this particular thing once you have taken this particular thing now you'll be starting from here and you'll be going to here once you are done now start from here go from here that's what i'm writing okay and after this so you have taken all the substrings now what is the next thing to do if your map your dot size okay if your map dot size turns out to be one what does it mean by start turns out to be one means all the substrings of length k that you have taken are brothers okay all of them are the same they're exactly twins so that means yet no need of any modification that you need to do you can happily written true there are already repetition of length k substrings okay but if it's not like if mp dot size turned out to be greater than two okay if your mp dot size greater than two that means uh um, yeah greater than two that means there are three different parts like there might be similar brothers and there are two different strangers or two same strangers so we cannot be uh you know we cannot uh come to a conclusion regarding that so uh, means mp dot size greater than two specifically tells that there are two different uh, three segments so what are those three segments so one the brothers part like similar ones and second one different stranger one okay different stranger stranger one different stranger two there are two different strangers okay if there are similar stranger like let us assume these two strangers are similar then there uh, then the occurrence will, uh, the size would be only two right this will be one and this will be counted as one totally two only the size would be two only but here in this case if it's turning turning out to be greater than two okay that is coming out to be greater than two that means you can happily assume that there are two different people here okay two different strangers here so it's completely not possible so for that reason so you can just put it this mp dot size not equal to two that means you can just return false so your primary task must be to make sure your map dot size is equivalent to now final com condition comes okay now let us assume it is map size equal to 2 so there comes a segment like this where uh, where the different uh, the strangers the two different i mean the strangers that are there they're same they both are same okay they both are same in that case also it's not possible only one different only one stranger must be there right only one stranger must be there so that's the reason we'll be maintaining a count so how do we take that count so if mp dot begin okay the first uh, thing that is there because only two sizes there so the first particular element okay so second either can be equal to one or mp dot begin second i uh, must be actually equal to n by k n by k minus one right only in these cases you can return true else return false i hope you people are getting it so the count okay the count of this particular uh or the uh, the particular uh, frequency of that particular string so the, uh, what are the segments there is a chance that this both different uh, strangers are like twins okay they both are the same so in that case these particular count would be two like the frequency okay frequency would be two and this brother's frequency would be n by k minus two but we do not want such case in that case we cannot return true that's false we cannot modify it so what would be doing so the very first segment because only size two is there size two is there right so if it's size 2 take the first uh, component of the map okay first uh, 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 position of the map uh, element of the map uh, so our key value pair whatever you wanted to say so check its value or the frequency if it is 1 or n by k minus 1 so in both the cases we can come to a conclusion like the other element mean the second element size would be n by k minus 1 or 1 so if it is 1 the other would be n by k minus 1 if it's n by k minus 1 it would be 1 then it's completely fine that's it we have come to a conclusion that if it is 1 if it is 1 that means we are dealing with that particular stranger and if it is uh, n by k minus 1 that means uh, sorry if it is n by k minus one that means we are dealing with the particular brothers we are looking at the particular brothers okay so that's it so if it's one or mbk minus one completely fine then it's fine we have come to, we can easily modify the other part that is remaining to the same part okay so i hope you people have understood and this ends the solution and we can even submit the code and check for your reference it's a small bit of modification that i have done just have put this uh, you know parenthesis just to make sure this functioning is done properly and now we'll try to submit uh, okay it works fine so i hope you people have understood the solution and all so we are not going we are not doing any flaws we are even taking all the cases that are you know probably ending up with some edge cases or something we are even dealing those things because we have taken a map and we have made sure the particular strangers count is only one strangers frequency is only one and uh, if it is one then all the other you know brother sequence would be just equal to n by k minus one that's very evident right so that's it so we have uh, we are able to you know the that conclusion we have got uh, because the mp dot size if it's not equal to two then it will return false from this here uh, in this part position only but it is returning two that means there are only two keys one key is that particular different uh, stranger the other key is that similar brothers okay so different stranger count must be equal to one so that is what we have checked or that part or the particular brothers uh, count must be equal to n by k minus one that's what we have checked in both of these cases we can return true and finally we have written false right so i hope you people have understood if there are any doubts please feel free to comment in the comment section also the codes in c plus java python are in the description please go through them also have the channel link i've created a channel so i hope you people will you know get benefited out of it we are posting regular off-campus opportunities on that particular in that particular channel so make sure to join it and you know uh, stay tuned thank you for watching stay tuned